Now, it's a pleasure to be here today and it's a privilege to be talking to you about a subject very close to my heart called Vedic Mathematics. Vedic Mathematics or Vedic Maths was founded by an Indian seer. His name was Tirthaji. And as the legend goes, he went into solitude into the forests of South India, researched, meditated, and came up with 16 formulas, also called sutras, by which one can make maths simple and easy. So today, I'm going to present to you how to master squares, cubes, and quartics the Vedic way. Let's begin. Let's begin with squares. It's a perspective given by the founder of Vedic Maths, Tirthaji. So if you remember the expansion of A plus B whole square, can you shout it out for me, please? A plus B plus wonderful. That was wonderful. I'm going to share with you a perspective right now and see what comes out of it, okay? Just look at the board behind me. That's A squared plus AB plus B squared and then I put AB again there and then that completes my answer of A plus B to the whole square, A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. So now the point to note here, supposing, let me ask you a question. You are at A squared, right? You are at A squared and you have to multiply it with a number to get AB. What would you multiply A squared with to get AB? B by A, I hear, I hear that, that's B by A. Another one, from AB to B squared, what would you multiply AB with? Is B by A, absolutely. So you see there's a proportion, there's a ratio going from A squared all the way to B squared. The ratio is B by A. Let's take a sum now and see how exciting that becomes when we try to find out squares of two digit numbers. 12 square, we all know the answer, no rocket science in Lamachinia and TEDx here. So I'm going to show you the first example and based on which we move on to bigger sums. So let A be 1 and 2 be B. What is A squared or 1 squared? And then I multiply it with B by A. B by A here, people, is 2 by 1 which is 2. So I multiply 1 with 2, that gives me 2. And again, I multiply with B by A, which is 2 again. That gives me 4. And then I copy 2 down like this. And add. So this is the units place. Remember, each column gives you a single digit, right? So that's the units place. Then we have the tens place. Then we have the hundreds place. Units place will give me 4 there. 2 plus 2 gives me 4. 1 comes down from the hundreds place. And that gives me the answer of 144. This was fairly simple. Let's take another example. Say 72 squared. Let's try that together. Let me ask you what 7 squared is. Please respond, okay? We make this very interactive, all of us here. So 7 squared is? 49. And we multiplied by B by A here. So B by A here is 2 upon 7. So 49 with B by A gives you? 14. Again, 14 with B by A multiplied gives you? 4. And I copy 14 down like this and add. So units, tens, hundreds. And then you have 4. 14 plus 14 is? 8. So 8 comes down, 2 gets carried in the mind. 49 plus 2 is? That's your answer there. Let's take one more sum. Quickly do this and then we'll move on to cubes. So 6 squared is how much? 36. And then what is the B by A here? Yes, the next term would be 18. And finally, what do we get in the last answer, last part? 9. And then what do we do? We add 18 again, yes. And that brings you 9 in the units column, as you can see here. 18 plus 18 gives you 6 down, 3 carry. 36 plus 3 gives you 39. So the concept here I'm talking to you about is a sutra, proportionately or the ratio B by A. We can use that ratio to find out other expansions 
also, as we'll see in this case of cubes. So come on, I, I invoke you again, the audience. Give me the cube of A plus B whole cube. And a lot of people are confused. So I'm going to make it simple for you. Just tell me the first term of A plus B whole cube expansion. So we got that there. Then just multiply with B by A. So A cube with B by A will give you A squared B. Again, it will be giving you A B squared. And finally, B to the power 3 or B cube. Now see, we are doubling the middle digits like this. A squared B gives you 2A squared B. And AB squared gives you 2AB squared. And we add, and we get, get the expansion which you gave me, A cube plus 3A square B plus 3AB squared plus B cube. We're going to use the same concept to find out the cubes mentally this time. Let's try it. All of you together. 12 cube, what is A cube or 1 cube? Wow. And then I multiply with B by A, that gives you how much? And then again, Four. And then one more time we do it, that gives me eight. And then I double the middle digits. Look carefully. I double the middle digits. Two doubles gives me? Four. And four doubles gives me? Eight. And then I add them up. Remember, each column will only give you a single digit. So eight comes down like this. Four plus eight is? Seven. Two comes down, one carry in your head. Two plus four gives you? 6 plus 1 carries 7, which gives you the 100th digit, and 1 down there. So that gives you 1, 7, 2, 8. Simple and easy. Let's talk about 15 cube. First term is 1. Let's do it together, all of us. B by here is, B by A is what here? 5. So you multiply 1 with 5, that gives you how much? 5. Exactly. 5 with 5, that gives you how much? 25. Actually, 25 with 5, that gives you how much? 25. Exactly. And then what do we do? We, we double the middle digits. So 5 doubles gives you? 25 doubles gives you? And then we add. So remember, even though it's 125, that's the units column. So it will only give you a single digit. So 125 gives you 5 there, 12 carry over. 25 plus 50, 75 plus 12 is? 87. 15 plus 8 is 23. 3 comes down, 2 gets carried. 2 plus 1 is 3, and your answer becomes 3, 3, 7, 5. Let's take one more. 3 cubes is how much? And then B by A here is what? 2 by 3. So you multiply 27 with 2, that is 54. By 3, that gives you? 18. Again, then that figure, 18, gets multiplied with B by A. That gives you 12. And finally, 2 cube or multiplied with B by A, you get 8. Now what do we do? We double, exactly. So 18 doubles gives you 36. And then 12 doubles gives you? And then we add. Shout out the answer. First term is? Second term is? 3 carry. 18, oh, give me the third term. You do the calculation. Come on. It's 7. And carry over? 5. 5 plus 27 gives you? 32. So your answer is 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. Give yourselves a round of applause if you like this. Come on. Okay. Have you seen this triangle before? What is it called? This triangle is actually called Halayudha's staircase of Mount Meru. But it is most popularly known as Pascal's Triangle. Okay, there are a lot of secrets inside this triangle. Some of which I'll just, two of which I'll share with you. If you see the first line like this, see, you have all the ones here, all the ones here. Now one more secret I'm going to share with you is this. See, these are counting numbers. One, two, three. Four, five. And then this goes on, right? But it was founded by an Indian mathematician named Halayudha. This gives you the secret to the binomial coefficients. For example, you have one there, right? 
So if I have the expansion of a plus b to the power 0, that gives you 1, right? Anything to the power 0 gives you 1. Then you have 11. So that's a plus b to the power 1. What is the coefficient of a here? 1. And b there? 1 also. So that's 1, 1. Now if you get me the expansion of a plus b whole squared, so you get three numbers there. One there from the 1 to 1. 1 is the coefficient of a and the coefficient of 2ab is 2. So you got 2 there and finally b squared which is 2. So you expand there, a plus b to the power 3, it gives you 1, 3, 3, 1, right? Those are the coefficients of the expansion a plus b to the power 3. Now we go to quartics. Quartics is raising a number to the power 4. So here once we apply it, it's a plus b to the power 4, which will give you the coefficient of 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. We're going to see now how it happens. This is also the expansion of a plus b to the power 5. And you can expand this triangle to give you all the coefficients. So let's go back to quartics. And we're going to do this together, all of us. So a to the power 4 is the first coefficient there, the co having the coefficient of 1. Then you have a q b. Again, what do you multiply with? b by a. That gives you a squared b squared. And that gives you, again, you multiply with b by a, it gives you a b cube. And finally, b to the power 4. Now I multiply the middle digits with 3, 5, 3. It was 1, 6, 4, 1. And that completes the expansion like this. So you see, if you see the coefficient of a to the power 4, that's 1. And then 4, 6, 4, 1, you see it right there. You do one last sum there, 12 to the power 4 together. Let's do this. The so first term would be 1 to the power 4, which is? And then what is b by a? 2. Again, 2 with 2 gives you? 4 with 2 gives you? And finally, 8 with 2 gives you? 16. That is also 2 to the power 4 or 16. Now we multiply the middle digits with 3, 5, 3. So 2 gets multiplied with 3 first, 6. 4 gets multiplied with? That gives you 20. 8 with? That gives you? And then we add. And each column will give you a single digit. So we got 6 there, 1 carry. So 8 plus 24 is 32 plus 133, 3 carry, 27, 7 there, 2 carry, and that gives you a 10, 2 plus 2 plus 6 gives you a 10, so it's 0, carry 1, 1 plus 1 gives you 2, and that's the complete answer. So ladies and gentlemen, this was a perspective of chapters from Vedic Mathematics. This is to be continued, and friends, Vedic Maths, I'm proud to share with you, that is India's newest gift to the world. Thank you very much.